Hi, my name is Mahmoud Pamuri and I'm from Darwin AI Company. The title of our paper is Tiny Speech Attention Condensers for Deep Speech Recognition Neural Networks on Edge Devices. This is a joint work between the University of Waterloo and Darwin AI Company under the supervision of Professor Wang. In this presentation, I'll provide a brief introduction to speech recognition. Then, I'll introduce the concept of attention condensers for building highly efficient deep neural networks. Afterward, tiny speech network architectures, which are based on attention condensers, will be presented. Finally, I will finish this presentation by demonstrating our experimental results. Speak recognition has been a specific area of interest where deep learning has shown exceptional performance beyond other machine learning strategies. Deep learning for speech recognition has been so successful that it is now widely used in real-world applications like Microsoft Cortana, Google Assistant, and Apple Siri. Despite the success of deep learning in a speech recognition from an accuracy perspective, Deployment of deep neural networks for on-device speech recognition remains a challenge, especially in edge scenarios where the memory and computing resources are highly limited. In the recent years, the use of self-attention mechanisms in deep learning have grown significantly due to their effectiveness. They are designed for deep convolutional neural networks that depends heavily on existing convolutional module. In the literature, most architectures focus on channel-wise attention and local attention. Channel-wise attention mechanisms project input activations along the non-channel dimensions and model cross-channel activation relationships, while local attention mechanisms project input activations along the channel dimension and model local activation relationships. Here we can see the structure of a squeeze and excitation attention module and spatial attention module, which are two well-known channel-wise attention and local attention modules. Attention condenser is a new self-attention mechanism that learns and produces a condensed embedding and characterizing joint local and cross-channel activation relationships and performs selective attention with a greater emphasis on activations in close proximity of strong activations. To reduce the computational complexity of such a joint modeling, we condense the input activations to a reduced dimension to strike a balance between modeling capability and computational efficiency. The good point about this module is that this module is a standalone module, while existing self-attention mechanisms are designed to augment network architectures to improve accuracy at the expense of some complexities. As you can see in the figure, attention condenser is a self-attention mechanism consists of a condensation layer, an embedding structure, an expansion layer, and a selective attention mechanism. Condensation layer condenses the input activations to reduce dimensionality. Indeed, this layer emphasizes activations in close proximity to strong activations. Embedding structure characterizes joint local and cross-channel activation relationships. Indeed, this is the trainable part of the attention condenser module. Expansion layer increases the dimensionality to produce self-attention values, and selection layer products the scale input activations, and self-attention values. Now, I am going to introduce our tiny speech networks for speech recognition. All the tiny speech networks are trained on Google Speech Commands dataset. We applied bandpass filter to filter the noises and then applied sliding window technique and extracted male frequency capstrom coefficients and fed our networks with the final coefficients. We leveraged two complementary strategies to build tiny speech networks. First strategy is to use attention condenser module 
and the second one is to use machine driven design exploration. For attention condenser module, we use max cooling as condensation, combination of grouped and point bus convolution as embedding, and upsampling as expansion layer. To perform machine driven design exploration, we incorporated the new attention condenser into generative synthesis. Generative synthesis is a highly flexible generative platform to create highly tailored deep neural network architectures. It can automatically determine the macro architecture and micro architecture design based on some operational requirements and constraints. For tiny speech networks, we passed four constraints to generative synthesis. The accuracy should be greater than 90%, 8 bit weight precision should be used, number of parameters should be less than 15k, and for tiny speech M, we considered an extra requirement which is compatibility with TensorFlow Lite. The proposed tiny speech networks were trained using the stochastic gradient descent optimizer in TensorFlow platform. Here is the final design of tiny speech version X, which has been explored by generative synthesis. The structure of tiny speech Y and tiny speech Z is similar to tiny speech version X, but with different number of channels. The structure of all these networks have been provided in the paper. In this figure, you can see the structure of tiny speech version M. As I mentioned before, to generate this network, an extra constraint was passed to generative synthesis to make the final network compatible with TensorFlow Lite. Since batch norm layer is not supported by TensorFlow Lite, there is no batch norm module in the design network. To show the effectiveness of the design network, we compared them with the state-of-the-art methods. To evaluate the efficiency of tiny speech neural networks for limited vocabulary speech recognition, we leverage the Google Speech Commands dataset. This dataset is especially for limited vocabulary speech recognition. More specifically, the Google Speech Commands benchmark consists of 65,000 one-second verbal commands of short words as well as background noise. Tiny Speech version X has the best accuracy while it has the lowest number of parameters among all the state of the art models. And Tiny Speech version Z is the most compressed model with just 2.7k parameters. Here are some comparisons between the presented Tiny Speech models and the state of the art models based on the accuracy, the number of parameters, memory requirements, and the number of multiply add operations. For example, comparing Tiny Speech version X with Thread F Pool 13, it has 4.1% higher accuracy, while it has about 127 times fewer parameters and 500 times fewer memory requirements, and about 12 times fewer multiply add operations. Or comparing tiny speech version Z with thread of full 13, it has about 2% better accuracy while it has about 500 times fewer parameters and it needs about 2000 times less memory and about 5 times fewer multiply add operations. In this work, we presented several highly efficient tiny speech neural network architectures based on attention condenser modules and machine driven design exploration. It can be observed that tiny speech networks achieve significantly lower computational complexity comparing to the other tested deep neural networks. Tiny speech version X achieved the highest accuracy and tiny speech version Z achieved the highest computational efficiency. In the end, I would like to thank you very much for your attention to this presentation.